हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज़ प्रोफेसर मोहम्मद आसिम एंड वी आर डूइंग एड मैथ एड मैथ फॉर आईजीसीएसई स्टूडेंट्स व्हिच हैव सिलेबस कोड 0606 एंड फॉर सीआईई ओ लेवल स्टूडेंट्स व्हिच हैव सिलेबस कोड 4037 सो बोथ काइंड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कैन गेट इक्वल बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दिस कोर्स स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिड क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 14.3 Today we are going to do some more questions of exercise 14.3 but before I start question number 5 and more and others I would suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly go to my playlist there is a folder name is admit watch previous lecture of this exercise then you will have good command on this topic see question number 5 part A Find the gradient of the tangent to y equals to 2x cos 3x at x is equals to pi by 3. Very easy. First we have to find dy by dx derivative x cos 3x. So we use product rule u time derivative of cos 3x is minus sign 3x and 3x derivative is 3 plus cos 3x derivative of x is 1 simplify it minus 3x sin 3x plus cos 3x now put pi by 3 where you see x so 2 minus 3 x is pi by 3 sin 3 x 3 into pi by 3 plus cos 3 into pi by 3 2 3 cancel by 3 minus pi 3 cancel by 3 and sin pi you can find with the help of your calculator calculator is sin pi is 0 3 cancel by 3 cos pi is minus 1 so 0 minus 1 or 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 so gradient of the tangent is minus 2 answer of part a move to part b Part B is y is equals to 2 minus cos x upon 3 tan x when x is pi by 4. This time we have to find u upon v formula. Sorry, this time we have to apply u upon v formula. 3 tan x square and 3 10 x as it is derivative of 2 minus cos x 2 derivative is 0 minus cos x is minus sin x minus minus plus sin x then minus 2 minus cos x derivative of v 3 10 x derivative is sec square x now no need to simplify this expression because we have to find the gradient of tangent at pi by 4 so you just put x is equals to pi by 4 where you are seeing x that is 3 10 x x is pi by 4 0 plus something is something sin pi by 4 2 minus cos x cos is pi by 4 3 sec square sec is the reciprocal of uh, cos that is 1 upon cos square that is 1 upon 
कॉस स्क्वायर पाए बाय फोर अपॉन थ्री टेन पाए बाय फोर होल स्क्वायर होप यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई एम डूइंग नाउ थ्री टेन पाए बाय फोर यू नो वन साइन पाए बाय फोर इज वन अपॉन रूट टू यू कैन फाइंड फ्रॉम योर कैलकुलेटर कॉस पाए बाय फोर इज वन अपॉन रूट टू थ्री वन अपॉन कॉस पाए बाय फोर इज वन अपॉन रूट टू एंड वन अपॉन रूट टू स्क्वायर बिकॉज दिस इज कॉस स्क्वायर अपॉन थ्री टेन पाए बाय फोर इज वन स्क्वायर मोर सिंप्लीफिकेशन थ्री वन जा थ्री थ्री वन जा थ्री थ्री अपॉन रूट टू माइनस टू माइनस वन अपॉन रूट टू थ्री डॉट वन अपॉन वन स्क्वायर इज वन and root 2 square is 2 3 ones are 3 3 square is 9 is equals to 3 upon root 2 minus 2 minus 1 upon root 2 and this 2 is multiply by 1 that is 3 into 2 because upon 2 upon is always multiply more simplification Three upon root two minus. Take the LCM of root two. So two root two minus one. Three two is a six upon nine. Take the LCM of root two. Root two cancel by root two. That is three minus. Root two cancel by root two. Six two is a twelve. Twelve root two minus minus plus six one is a six upon nine. Six plus three is nine. Nine minus twelve root two upon root two into nine is. Nine root two. Take common <coughs> three. So three minus four root two upon nine root two. Three three is a nine root two. So three minus four root two upon three root two. Multiply and divide by. Root two upon root two. So three into root two is three root two, and four root two into root two is two four two is a eight upon root two into root two is two three two is a six. So the final answer is three root two minus eight upon six. You can also do. this whole calculation with with the help of calculator but i like mental math that is why i did in this way move to next question Question number six, part A. By writing sec x as one upon cos x, find d by dx, derivative of sec x, 
very easy d by dx write sec x is 1 upon cos x and apply u upon v formula v square v as it is derivative of 1 is 0 minus 1 derivative of cos x is minus sin x is equals to cos x into 0 is cos x minus minus plus sin x upon cos x square can be right is cos x in cos x sin upon cos is tan x and 1 upon cos x is sec x so tan x sec x sec x is the final answer move to part b By writing cosec, cosec x as 1 upon sin x, find the derivative of d by dx of cosec x. So, first we have to write d by dx. Cosec x is 1 upon sin x. Sin x, I am applying u upon v formula. v square v as it is derivative of 1 is 0 1 as it is derivative of sin x is cos x uh, sin x is cos x cos x so sin into 0 is 0 0 minus cos x upon sin x can be right sin x square can be right sin x into sin x minus cos upon sin is cot x and 1 upon sin is cos x so cos x derivative is minus cot x cos x hope you understand move to part c part c is by writing cos x upon sin x find the derivative of cod x so by writing cod x as cos x upon sin x find the derivative of d by dx of cod x so write cot instead of cot is cos x cos x upon sin x apply u upon v formula v square v as it is derivative of u minus sin x minus cos x derivative of uh, uh, v that is cos x sin into sin is minus sin square x cos into cos is minus cos square x upon sin square x taking minus is common sin square x sin square x plus cos square x is 1 minus 1 upon sin is cosec and 1 upon sin is cosec square x so the final answer is cosec square x so you can say the derivative of cod x is minus cosec square x move to next question Another very easy question, find dy by dx for each of the following. Part A, ey is equals to sin 3x. So, because we need dy by dx, so we should make the subject y. In order to make the subject y, we have to take ln on both sides. ln ey is equals to ln sin 3x so 
write y before the log ln e ln sin 3x ln and e cancel y is equals to ln sin 3x so dy by dx ln sin 3x is 1 upon sin 3x into sin 3x derivative is cos 3x into 3x derivative is 3 so 3 cos x upon th sin x is cot x therefore cos 3x upon sin 3x is cot 3x this is the final answer of part a very easy question move to part b part b is e y is equals to 3 cos 2x taking ln on both side again ln 3 cos 2x so write y first ln and e cancel ln 3 cos 2x you can write this apply logarithm rule ln 3 plus ln cos 2x this is the product rule of ln dy by dx ln 3 is a constant derivative of constant is 0 ln cos 2x is 1 upon cos 2x into derivative of cos 2x that is minus sin 2x into derivative of 2x that is 2 so minus 2 sin 2x upon cos 2x minus 2 sin upon cos is 10 and sin 2x upon cos 2x is 10 2x this is the final answer of part b and this is question number 7 and this is exercise 14.3 Today we have finished exercise 14.3. We did all question with each and every part. Today we did 5, 6 and 7. So hope you enjoy exercise 14.3. Not only 14.3 but all questions and my lectures. What next? The last exercise of chapter number 14 that is further applications of differentiation very easy exercise how many questions question number one question number two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there are three, uh, 16 questions in this exercise. I promise I will do each and every question, each and every part, but in 4 to 5 lectures because this is lengthy exercise. And after exercise 14.4, chapter will be end and we will move to a very important topic that is chapter number 15, integration. So kindly do practice more and more and more and if you feel any problem, write in comment box, I will help you. Kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe, don't forget to press the bell icon button. So that when I upload my videos, you will get the notification. Kindly share my videos as many as you can. Okay students, good luck for next lecture.